Hello and welcome to this edition of Hashtag Questions! Where I try and answer your burning DJ questions. Well, to the best of my ability, not always right, but it's my opinions and my views. So here we go. This episode, we have four questions. I have uh, been working on answering a few other of your questions, which is, um, there's a big pile here of questions as well. Um, but I've been working on a couple of bigger um, episodes, uh, which involve a lot more. So I thought I'd, what I'd do to get, is pull four quick questions out and get them answered today. I hope you don't mind, because it's all for you. Um, right, I'm gonna have to uh, put my glasses on to read the first question, as always. And I've got my, uh, I've got my DJ Funky Mike pen to actually uh, mark off and make notes. Now, if you haven't got a DJ Funky Mike pen, you need to get one. You know how to get one, don't you? I don't think you can see the name there. I don't know. I don't know. Can you see that? I don't know. No. Anyway, it's got DJ Funky Mike. It's got his telephone number on there as well. So I hope that is going mobile. I hope that didn't actually come out. Anyway, Mike, you're getting some calls. Thank you, Mike, for the pen. He posted this to me the other day. He put on his channel um, something uh, uh, that included his pen. And I said I wanted a pen. And he posted it to me. Great chap. So, other subscribers. If you subscribe to Funky Mike, if you ask nicely, you never know. Enough comments, enough sharing, you know, you might get one of these pens. Anyway, more to the point. First question. So this first question um, comes from uh, DJME123. Um, and it says, welcome back. I must have been away. Uh, quick question. How do you deal with requests using USB sticks and no laptop? Question mark. Phone and line into the RX or just don't take any? Right, well, it's, it is really simple. Um, the events I do are mainly weddings and uh, set types of parties or functions or Christmas events. Not really uh, a, an environment where I'm taking lots of requests and the type of music that I would be happy to play, I have with me on my USB sticks because I have thousands of tunes on there. Um, I'm not a jukebox, I'm a DJ. It's my job to select the music, that's what I'm being paid for, and play that. The bride and groom might have given me a pre-selected list to work from, but then I'd be working from that and I wouldn't have requests. But in relation to it, do I take requests? I take requests in respect to what I have, because what I have would be good. If I haven't got it, then hey ho, I don't need it. And um, if, it's, if it's something that's really hot that I really think I need, I'll get it for next time. And I'm sure the world won't end. But no, I won't be plugging in a phone, a USB, or a, into my, um, in, or a line into my RX2. Uh, um, I just purely come off my USBs. It's the same when I'm at the nightclubs as well, because um, I'm doing a 90s night. Um, if they request what I've got, if I haven't got it, then it won't be a good dance track from the 90s, because um, there's no way that I don't have it if it's a good dance track. Um, that's that's it. So anyway, uh, DJM123, thank you very much for submitting your question. Very much appreciated. I hope that answers that. Right, um, next up, next question, question number two which is a question from uh, Jimmy Hill. So, uh, hashtag question. Looking for a controller that is standalone. The new Denon looks good. Any recommendations like the idea of putting in a hard drive? Okay, well, I'll be honest with you, Jimmy. Um, I don't really know because I'm not, I've not had 
to play around with the, the new Denon. I've seen it, I've touched it, but I haven't had a chance to play around with it. So I don't know if it's any good, all right? What I do know is with the Pioneer stuff that I use, when I walk into um, a nightclub like I did uh, uh, between Christmas and New Year and, and did a, a, a night there, I just needed to plug straight in my USBs into their Pioneer gear because it all worked and I knew how they worked. Um, so I don't know um, if I would recommend anything else. I've not used those. Um, they sound good, look good, but not tried one, so I really don't know. Um, I do like my RX2, um, and, uh, and I do like my Pioneer gear, but that's because that's what I'm used to, and uh, that's just the, the way it goes. But Jimmy, thanks for the question, very much appreciated. Sorry I couldn't be of more assistance in there in, in what controllers use. I would say use a controller that you can pl connect to a computer and you can plug a USB in, okay? Plugging in a hard drive, I think that's obviously gonna come with time with all of them, um, especially if it's like a flash drive um, like these. Um, that would be great if an SSD flash drive worked because they're really fast and obviously that, this one's 500 gig. Um, I use that to, that is my backup of all my music, um, everything on there. Um, so that would that would be that would be handy something like that. Anyway, thanks, Jimmy. <clears throat> On to the next one. So, question number three. This is from Dave's mobile disco DJ log. Hello, Dave. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, he's right. Great videos as always. Please, can you remind me what editing software you use? I think I need to up my game from Windows Movie Maker. Well, hi Dave, um, I'll be honest with you, I use my, I've actually got it on, I use iMovie Maker, okay, um, on my iMac. Um, I use an iMac here in my office at home, I've got an iMac on my office in town, and, um, and I use iMovie Maker for all my video editing, not just this channel, but the other stuff I do as well, because um, uh, I like to do a little bit of filming. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I've got another channel, link up there to it. Anyway, so yeah, sorry Dave, um, just, just normal iMovie Maker. I do have the Adobe uh, Premiere Pro thing, um, I've used it twice, and because I don't know how to use it, iMovie Maker does what I need to do. Um, I've never used Windows Movie Maker, I'm assuming it's very, very similar. Um, I'll be honest with you. All you need to do is get, you know, lots of decent footage, put it all together uh, and there. Make sure that the sound is good on it and the picture quality. I've had a few instances where both of those have been dodgy. I've had people moaning about levels. I've had people say, uh, you know, um, you're out of focus. And it's, it's, yeah, learning to use the camera, learning to use the everything. I mean, I've got, I've got several cameras I use now, which is I've got the, the Canon M50, which I'm talking to you in now. Um, I've got a, uh, a Canon uh, G7X Mark II, which is the one that I film, um, that I'm talking to when I'm out doing my gig logs. And I've got the, um, the uh, what have I got? It's got the GoPro. I've got the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, and that's the one that I've now put um, attached to the side of the speaker stands covering the dance floor. So um, that's that. I've always got my phone with me as well, so I can always do a cheeky little talk to, to camera a bit. Uh, but it's all about just capturing enough of it and putting it all together. So anyway, Dave, thank you very much for your comment. I hope, uh, hope that helped and I hope that answered that one. So um, what are we on now? Um, where, have I, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Um, right, my last one. Number four, episode four, number four. Okay. Hello, real life DJ. This is from Talagadar, Tall, Dark and Handsome. I think he was on YouTube for something else. But anyway, no, seriously. Hello, Tall, Dark and uh, Handsome. I hope you live up to your name. Um, and if you're a DJ, you'll do well, son. Um, right, so hello, real life DJ. Nice uh, setup. I want to ask, what scrims are you using for the totems? Okay, that's really easy. I've got, uh, I bought, there's different types of scrims. The ones I use, Velcro, wrap round and Velcro. 
really quick to put on, really quick to put a pot on. You haven't got to pull it down and feed it and all that. It's just literally, you go around, wrap and boom, Velcro all the way down. Now I get them from uh, Simply Sound and Lighting. So what I'll do is I'll put a link below to Simply Sound and Lighting's uh, scrims that I buy. Um, I must say, I don't make any money from that. It's not an affiliate link. It's just, I'm putting there because it's the ones that I use and it's the ones that they tell you. Simply Sound and Lighting, if you're watching, feel free to plug me and uh, share the love. Anyway. There we go. That is it for this edition of Hashtag Questions. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope that it's been of some interest. Went on a little bit longer than I thought it would do. Sorry, I tend to waffle at times. Um, anyway, got coming up very soon four more uh, videos. They're already in production. They're already being produced. Um, the, the, uh, the next Hashtag Questions uh, will be out in about three days time, three or four days time. And uh, I have the following subjects that are gonna be covered over the next month and a half, which is, uh, I've been asked, how do I transport my equipment? I'll put that in a video. What insurance public liability do I have? And can I explain PAT testing? I'll put that in a video for you. Um, how can I put, can I, can I put my playlists on a PDF format and share them? Yes, I've done that already. My 90s dance playlist, one of those is on a PDF that's on one of my previous videos. Just go to the one where I give it all away. I will put together in that video uh, a list of uh, 80s, 90s, nauncies, uh, classics that I always go to. Um, I'll do a wedding one. I've had some wedding questions come in. So how much was my wedding set up? I'll cover that. Um, what would you play to fill a dance floor at a wedding? I'll throw in my first few tunes on that. Um, and how do I generate wedding business? I will include that in that wedding hashtag question. So hope you enjoyed. If you did one of these, if not, you can do that. Um, if you haven't yet, why not consider subscribing? And if you do subscribe, don't forget to turn on the bell. Until next time, JP out.